Okay, we need to talk about... We need to talk about America right now, okay? Because holy, holy fuck. Holy fuck America, all right? It's crazy because... Okay, I'm going to Sweden soon. Okay, first of all... Okay, America. I am... I am so unbelievably proud of how insanely on top of, like, the quarantine measures or whatever, like, every part of the country has been in the areas that I've traveled so far. I actually can't believe it. Like, on the airplanes, there's a space between every person. Every single person that I've seen in almost every public area I've been is wearing a mask. And every restaurant I've been to, like, every other table is, like, fucking closed. I would have never thought that, like, especially in the Midwest and Nebraska, that, like, that level of, like, dedication and shit, I thought that everything would be running as normal. Like, in Sweden, for instance, not to shut on the Swedish people, everything is, like, running, um, everything is, like, running pretty smoothly. Or, I'm sorry, every, everybody's just, like, carrying on as normal. Um, I really wonder if we would have, like, Crack down on um. Hold on. I, if we would have like been like on top of the fucking quarantine shit as soon as we like knew everything was going on, I feel I feel like shit would have been curbed so hardcore. Um, but yeah, I'm like super shocked at the level of like attention to detail that like every single business I've seen in every part of the brass that I've been at so far, or in Omaha, I should say, has been so far in terms of like how people are treating things. So is literally the worst example of how it is in Europe. I've heard the UK is really bad too. That's that's weird. My experience has been the opposite to yours. Wait, what do you? What state are you in, Cash? Florida? Oh, I've heard shitty things in Florida. I don't know. Missouri's a shit show. People still coming to my work. Oh, damn. Maybe it's just Omaha. Huh. But I don't know. I see, like, dude, I would say that, like, 40% of people are wearing masks, like, even outside. Like, walking to and from the store and shit. I still see a lot of people with masks on. But almost every single place um, that I've seen, every single place that I've seen, like, indoors is, like, mandatory mask wearing and everybody more or less is doing it. There's still, like, a fuck ton of conservatives here, though, which is funny. I went down this morning to eat breakfast, and CNN was on, and they said something like, oh, a new study, blah, 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 about how if you're black, you're more likely to be whatever by the cops. And I heard this guy behind me, like, whatever. And then this other dude next to him was like, yeah, there they go again. <laughs> so, good old Nebraska. Them, you know, them hillbillies, they really know what's going on out there. Um, but regardless, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. You read about the five-year-old that was murdered by a black neighbor last week that online you look like lecture fan. are claiming shows hypocrisy of BLM. Nope. Alright, scuff tonight. Um, You're a no. genius, dude! I, I don't think I'm gonna MRM stay right god, that. MRM god. Someone gave you a billion dollars to live in Nebraska for life. Would you do it? I hate it here, dude. I, I, I unbelievably fucking hate this place. Holy shit, it's so bad. Um... I think I just have a lot of, after being away from it so long and coming back, I just have a lot of bad memories associated with every part of the city. So, fuck this place. I don't think I would ever, I don't think I'd take any amount of money to move here. What are your thoughts about the trolling in the US Army Twitch chat? Um, I mean, if people want to troll, they can troll. I, focusing and like hating on like army recruiters and shit is dumb though. I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing or a bad job. Did you catch any Molina's diving stream? Um, I saw some clips, yeah. This post office stuff is insane. Um, I haven't, um, I've, I've seen bits and pieces of it, but I haven't like done a deep dive into it yet. Destiny, Devon Stream is super cool. Epic making a move to compete with the Play Store and Apple. I don't think Epic is gonna try to compete with the Play Store and Apple, or maybe I haven't seen that. But it's more just, it's the idea that basically the Play Store and Apple can do whatever the fuck they want with their store because they, they own the devices, which is a little bit bullshit, right? How would a console make money if it wasn't a lockdown system? Um, I don't know as much about consoles, I'm not sure. Do you see the post office is having their Sony box move because of the volumes less mil Yeah, I've, I've read a lot of random stuff. I don't know how much is real or not, but yeah. Where in Sweden are you going? Uh, I mean, I land in Stockholm and then I don't know what the restrictions are. Um, I have no idea. Quick thoughts on the Kamala Harris pick? Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's for a while. People have been kind of saying like Kamala Harris is the best pick. I was a little bit 
not believing of it a few weeks ago when it was brought up, but then I started reading Star Wars. It seems like, yeah, Kamala Harris is like the pretty obvious pick for Biden, so. So credit says it's Kamala Harris valid. Most of it is just dumb shit. Most of it is either conservatives that are racist or lefties that are probably racist, yeah. Um, or lefties that are delusional fucks. Stop just stuffing your fat fucking mouth. Wait for the general. Does Kamala help Biden win votes he need? Stop getting um, Kamala polls. I think Kamala is one of the most favorable of the other people, and she pulls in the black vote like hard, 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 hardcore. Um, Kamala Harris is probably a good pick, I think. She's a really good speaker. She's like super youthful, vibrant, like pretty aggressive. Like I think Kamala was a pretty good. Just wait, wait for the generals so that we can move past all these irrelevant dumb fuck lefties on the internet, and then get to the conservatives. Do you think it was a better pick than Tim Kaine? I, honest to God, guys, I just I don't know enough about Tim Kaine's background. I'd have to look at it. I watched all of his performances in the debates or whatever, and Tim Kaine. It was like a male version of like Amy Klobuchar. Like he seemed like he probably had good policies and was a good dude, but talk about zero energy, man. Oh my god, I just ugh. What about people saying that Kamala is the opposite of what the Democrats wanted in terms of the police? Nobody, no, no, nobody. Don't just stop. If you want to know anything about politics, stop talking about politics with people online. They don't know anything, okay? Most people in the United States like the police. Most black people in the United States like, most black people in the United States don't want to defund or abolish the police. It's just not true, okay? That's just some progressive bullshit that white, middle, or upper, or insanely rich people say online because that's like their little fucking socialist agenda that they push because they have nothing else in their life and they were too woke for fucking race realism, okay? Ignore these people, okay? Most people in the United States generally want the police around. Most people in the United States are against the abolish or defund the police, blah, blah, blah. Kamala Harris's record as a DA person is pretty decent. She votes insanely liberally in the fucking Senate. Like, she's She's a decent pick. Have you seen the dumb fucks on Twitter saying they can't vote for Harris because she's a turf? It doesn't matter what the dumb fucks on Twitter say about voting because none of those dumb fucks vote, okay? So who cares? Would you consider doing a review of the Kim Iverson debate? I feel like she got away with so many dumbass points. Really? I wrote down and responded to almost everything she said. Maybe in the Q&A she got away with some stuff, but it wasn't like my thing to respond to her. Do you actually think a lot of lefties will fade into irrelevancy? Like, I feel like a lot of people like Kyle and Hassan are growing crazy big. I'm only spread they're missing photo more people. That's worrisome. Hassan is growing because he's because people like ex everybody always likes extremist shit online, right? Brain dead extremist shit is what's popular. Like, look at who the most popular people online are, right? It's like Steven Crowder, Ben Shapiro, Alex Jones, and then on the left you've got like Kyle Kalinske. Um, <clears throat> who are there more? There's probably more, but I try to like ignore all the left leaning people now. But like generally, like the most like generally the most favorable stuff is like extremist content. Like that's always going to be the most popular shit like online. Um, like it's that's just what gets the, the views. It doesn't mean that the movement itself is growing, especially because none of these people online are involved Shut in real politics up, anyway. Man, it's all right? just like react and commentary meme. shit. Colon pog. David Pakman isn't really extreme. Statistician. Would you say Kyle's an extremist? Yes, he's extremely fucking stupid. Crowder and Shapiro are extreme? That's a take. If you don't think that Shapiro is a bit extreme, my dude, holy fuck, I don't know what the fuck your personal politics are, but okay. Doesn't Shapiro just represent your average traditional conservative, not really an extremist? I would say that I would say that if this was like average conservative, I would say that Shapiro sits all the way like right here at the very, very, very fucking end, <laughs> okay? Like, although to be fair, at least Shapiro didn't turn into a Trump shill. Why have I seen like, I, I don't know if I just, because I'm traveling, I don't find politics as funny right now. I feel like I've seen the most like played out. The only thing drier than like Ben Shapiro's wife's pussy is like how fucking dried and played out this fucking joke is. I feel like I've seen 50 million variations on something about Ben Shapiro's wife. I don't know what the original like joke is. What is it? Why is this like just like the new thing? Like if you have like no comedy or censor Dude, like I saw this meme for like a day and I was like, oh, okay, Shapiro probably said something dumb. But I feel like we're like two weeks past whatever the inciting event was. And I still see the same fucking boring joke. Oh my God, over and over and over again. He read the lyrics to a rap song. Is that it? Because of a tweet he made. 
You have to concede that Ben Shapiro does have some good arguments and can beat most lefties in a debate, right? Um, his arguments, generally what I've heard him argue is fucking garbage. He could probably beat most people in a debate, though. He's rhetorically pretty effective. And he's pretty, like, uh, verbally nimble, I guess. Do you think debating Twitch conservatives like Uktfan and suspect sushi has any value when they are so partisan and dishonest? No, both of them are worthless, but they're funny uh, sources of entertainment. I can't wait for Sushi to get that clip like, Oh, does he think I'm worthless because I'm black? You thought liberals played the fucking race card all the time. Holy shit. Sushi has to be a troll, right? No, I don't think so. I think he's just generally fucking stupid. Torture your cock and balls must endure. <laughs> Two spaces forward your cock will be stretched.